business would be turned to normal. Weeks passed, and word of my master's skills as a swordsman spread far. Rao enjoyed his newfound fame. <laughs> Though the stories were becoming a little exaggerated by his sister, who would recount them to anyone who would listen. Soon, Rao's mind began to drift once more in the hope of adventure. He would not have to wait long. Rao, can I come with you on your next trip? I know how to use a sword. And I could cook for you or carry your pack, please. Sir, I heard that you are the young man responsible for running off the thieves and bandits that plagued this area in recent times. Oh, good job, good job. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Aruku, a cleric and guardian of sacred land east of here. Oh, at least I was. Recently, bandits similar to the ones you so <laughs> gracefully dispatched beat me and threw me out of my home. I watched as they broke apart graves and ancient tombs, scattering the contents. I thought they were thieves looking for gold, and that once they found none, they would leave me in peace. But when they found what they were looking for, not gold, just a scroll of old leather, they did not leave. Sir... I am the custodian of this place, and have failed in my duty to protect it. Now all I want is my home back. Can you please help rid me of this menace? I have no money, no treasures to offer as payment. Just the knowledge that this is a just cause, and the promise that the gods will favor any who come to my aid. I also have a bow crafted by artisans many moons north of here that I will gladly give you upon your return. It is not worth a great deal, but does fire far and true. Well, business is doing much better now. Thanks to you, lad. Oh, by the way, the cleric over there was asking about you. Someone in need had requested my master's help. His years of training at Baumusu's side were finally being put to good use. His heart swelled with pride. But who were these bandits the holy man had spoken of? Could they be from the same group he had just encountered? Mauruku had warned him that there were many bandits guarding his home, many more than he had just defeated in his last adventure. The cleric cautioned him to be careful. He would have to use stealth and silently dispatch as many enemies as possible. He thanked the gods that he had his spirit guide to show him the dangers that lay ahead.
Some are marked at birth with an unnatural symbol, a design holding words hidden within. These words are written in an ancient tongue, words from a long-forgotten spell, an evil spell. If the lines from this incantation are gathered together and recited, they will open a gate, a pathway from the world of darkness to this world. Through this rift will come an army of darkness, a powerful force enslaved to its master. This army will then crush this world and enslave its people. Thank you. 
Six families, six lesions, six as one. Versed of ancient tongue, the realm of darkness begs thee. Five of death, one of souls, for a living soul shall feed the birth of the dead.
Turn. My master was blessed by the cleric, a happy man, keen to return home. Who knows if the gods now look down on Rao with favor. Time would show that he would need all the help he could get. Mauruku gave Rao a fine bow, a powerful weapon capable of silently striking from a great distance. My master knew this gift would have an important role in his future adventures. from such noble blood. I hear you and your sister were saved from cultists when you were just children. Famusu was quite a hero too when he was your age. <laughs> this is warm. I, just, I want cold, cold beer. It's not this warm. I'll drink it anyway, sorry. That creepy old man needs to stop staring at me or I'm gonna break a bottle over his head. Well, 
I don't like the look of that dark stranger sitting over there. Raw, my boy, let me show you how to use that new bow of yours. Oh. 